Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, emotional content. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean in art, this could be in any aspect of your life. So, without emotional content, the things that you do are pretty crap. Because you've got to care about what you do. And that's where the feeling comes in. So, when you really get the feeling of something, and you put it into something, that's when it becomes something amazing. And that might not make much sense, when it's particularly when it applies to painting. So, painting is all about feeling. Well, recreational painting is. Maybe not if you're painting your house, although I have painted a few houses in my time and I put the feeling in there, left, right and centre. So, you've got to enjoy what you do, otherwise you're doing the wrong thing. So, even, even when it's hard, it's a way for you to communicate, it's a way for you to express what you want to do. So, I'm going to tell you today about how to put emotional content into your work and also how to um, express yourself with particular ranges of motion etc. More, um, more like a, a sort of a, um, a guide to the kind of techniques that are going to allow you to express emotion more freely in, in whatever you do um, that, that, that work for me. I mean they might not work for you, you might have different ways but Definitely, the important part of painting is feeling. You may wonder why you often look at a uh, perfectly accurate painting um, that's been painted by a professional and it looks great and it just leaves you stone cold. Yet you'll see um, a, 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 an abstract canvas where somebody's thrown some paint at it and you think, woof, that's easy. But actually, it's making me feel something. Well, it's not easy. Um, so today I'll, I'll show you how it's not easy, or it is, but there are ways to make it easy, let's put it that way. So, um, an important thing for you to uh, have today is probably a playlist of some description. So, um, try and make um, a, a playlist that has lots of songs that mean something special to you, um, that really uh, make you feel when you listen um, because it, that's an easy way to shift between emotional states. Now I've had a lot of practice so currently I'm working on a triptych um, of uh, seascapes and one's calm water, one storm and one is um, the brewing storm sort of halfway in between. Um, so difficult, it's very difficult but I'm going to be shifting from one emotional state to the next but this is this gets easier with practice. Um, it helps if you uh, th try and think of something in particular, um, um, painful or a particularly strong or happy, a particularly strong emotion that you can um, that you can tap into for different emotional states. So um, yes, we're going to do a bit of that later. First of all, emotions and mark making. So there's a very specific. Um, way to make marks relating to particular things that you're feeling at the time. For example, um, if you're trying to express uh, anger or passion, uh, you would throw your arm around, you, but you need to tap into that feeling. So uh, may I suggest uh, some angry songs on the playlist, such as, um, I don't know, Drowning Pool or a bit of Motorhead, to get that passion, to get that feeling. Uh, try and remember things. I mean, particularly if you're going through a breakup or a difficult time, try to remember things that pissed you off, things that annoyed you about um, about your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, or just just to tap into that or, or fiery moments of passion. Just um, think of those memories. Think of the times in your life where you've really been awake and really conscious. Um, so um, as you move the palette knife um, or the the brush, uh, you want to move it in a particular way that reflects your arm, so the expression of your arm. Plenty of flicks, so as you move your arm it flicks from side to side. Don't worry about what, what the picture looks like, that's not the point. The point is to get that emotion into the picture. As you progress, as you do this more, um, you'll be able to control those emotions and um, 
channel them into different areas of the painting. So, um, now I'd like to talk about passivity. Now, a little bit harder to get into that state. Um, obviously, if you've got plenty of practice switching between mental states, it's fine. Uh, but that's where your breathing comes in. So just slow, rhythmical breathing. Breathe in slowly and then out slowly. And just keep that up until you start to calm. I, uh, I, I often film on Sundays because um, I, I like the fact that there's nobody in. But today there's a lot of people moving in. So that's a lot of fun, isn't it? So, um, you want to embrace that passive calm. So obviously you don't want to be listening to uh, Motel at this point. Now it's time to switch to, I don't know, Enya. Uh, something that, that makes you feel um, in tune with ducks on a pond, nature, gentle wind blowing. Start thinking like that. Hopefully you get the impression by watching me in action. Um, now, interesting point, I'm actually using Hammerite here to paint with, so um, you want to, if you're going to use paint such as this, well, obviously you want to work in a well ventilated area, and you don't want to um, be breathing this stuff in very easily. I've got ventilation in the studio um, and extraction, so that's good. I usually wear a mask, but uh, today I just, I'm only painting, I'm only in for a little bit, and I'm only painting for a little while, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, and another thing to be aware of is that uh, certain types of paint, particularly solvent based paints, can dissolve your working materials. So if you just got a sponge from the kitchen and you're trying to sponge on some uh, hammerite, there's a good chance it's going to uh, dissolve because it's um, a synthetic material. So I'm using um, natural sea sponge here, which was uh, very kindly uh, contributed to me by um, to my cause by uh, Fred Phillips, who's got a studio down the road. And if you don't know who Fred Phillips is, you're um, clearly a terrible human being, and you should look him up immediately. Frederick Phillips, artist. So um, next, I'm going to talk about angst. Angst is a little more different, difficult than the previous two emotions we've explored and expressing it. Angst is a certain frustration that you can only get by being frustrated. But if you've been frustrated enough in life, um, you can sort of tap into it. Uh, anyway, with this particular emotion, angst, um, I like to leave it to last. Always leave your angst paintings when you want to express angst, um, um, ambivalence, anything that's a bit confusing or bore, boredom, frustration, these are things that you leave till the end of the day when you're tired and it's easy to express frustration when you're tired. And your marks can be whatever you feel um, because you'll see that as you tap into that emotion it kind of takes on a life of its own anyway, you start to get pissed off. Don't be afraid to slash your canvas because that does happen sometimes. That is the general core of angst. Oh my god, I can't be bothered with this anymore. So that, that, does, that does happen. Thanks for your time.